I didn't expect to win anything when I entered, but I thought somebody has to win, so why shouldn't it be me? My classmates. She really loved like the video that I did, and she sent me a message saying, "Oh, I think you should apply here." So it was a bit of a shock to get a phone call. I was completely surprised, to be honest. I was not expecting to win. The entries that we eventually narrowed down to being at the sort of top of the tree, if you like, were really of very high quality, notably high quality things that would really stand any kind of journalistic test, whether in a top newspaper or a top broadcast organisation. Writing definitely came first, but when I was interviewing my friends, I thought um, if I could take their picture and lay it out as a magazine spread, that might um, make the entry a bit more exciting than just a, an article. I wasn't planning on going down this route because I think I'm more interested in arts and culture, but realising how passionate all my friends were about this subject and how important it is to talk about, I think I would like to pursue this topic and see if there's anything else we can do to raise awareness and to talk about it more. For Gardner, there is one of the characters of my video. He has this um, bag shop in Spitzerfield Market that I always pass by and I always say, but what is that, you know? Same as um, with Caroline, the, the lady, the potter lady. I couldn't believe that a place like that was here in London. So I talked about Brexit and I interviewed four people living in the UK from different backgrounds in the EU. London as a community was so overwhelmingly wanting to stay in the EU whereas the rest of the UK wasn't. So it's sort of all these different kind of conflicts. So I thought I'd speak to people from all the different countries that I could find that would have an interesting opinion about Brexit and how it's going to impact them and the community of London which they're part of. I wanted to have it because I think it engages with London's communities and gives people a opportunity to have a voice, to be heard and to comment on the world that they live in. I would love to write for a living. Um, I don't know if I'd like to have one permanent full-time job for like long periods of time. I think I'd like to travel, work for different kinds of magazines, work with arts and culture. I'd rather be an independent journalist um, because you rely on, on yourself and you do what you really like to do. I've had a few internships in the industry and I think this has been a really good prize to sort of get some contacts and to get some sort of like get my name out there and in print so hopefully things will just grow from here. We're definitely going to run it for one more year um, um, but I think there's scope to in uh, geographic scope to spread it wider across the country, maybe even a national competition. What I'd like to see is it move beyond London, the whole country has, has stories to tell and I'd like to see it work from top to bottom, uh, but I certainly will lobby very hard for it to be, to be run again next year via the Media Society.